Hey there, Proto here, and today we are going to take a quick look at some uh, macro class gear from iFlight. For starters, we're looking at the iFlight XL8 V3 here, and uh, this is a really, really nice 8 inch frame. In the XL series, it's just basically like the XL5 and 6 and 7. <laughs> but uh, with longer arms, yes, as, if you can imagine it. <clears throat> but it also has a uh, thicker 3mm top plate, 3mm bottom plate, 6mm arms. And it's just super premium carbon. It's very nice looking stuff. Yeah, this uh, frame is a, an absolute beast. I don't expect to have any issues. Not that I really intend to be crashing my 8 inch very much, but uh, I've got one here with some 2407 1600 kV Zing that I'm testing. And got my GPS on there. R9 mini receiver. And I'm we're just waiting on a flight controller for that one. So that's the XL8 V3. Like I said, this is just a really nice, solid 8-inch frame right here. Beautiful carbon. And then we have the DC-10. This is iFlight's uh, biggest macro quad frame right now. This is the kind of cinematic filming version right here with the dead cat um, arm configuration to keep the props well out of view even with a fairly low angle on your GoPro you should have a clear view. And this thing has eight millimeter arms. This is the thickest carbon I've ever seen, and it is beautiful. It really is one beautiful, thick sheet of 8mm quality carbon fiber. So that is the DC-10, and i um, waiting on uh, flight controller and three ESCs. I have one ESC and the PDB, and then I need three more of the 60 amp. And uh, I'm going to get this thing going with these motors. This is the Zing 2814 1100 kV. And I'm going to be testing these out on uh, this frame. And I should have an XL10 frame coming very soon. <clears throat> I'll be testing these motors in the 1100 kV up to 6S and 10 inch props. And, um, and I think also we're going to have a couple other kV options uh, for this size motor here. And by the way, I don't think the 2407, I think actually there's going to be a bigger motor for the um, 8 inch, for 7 and 8 inch uh, builds. This should be an, another size of a uh, Zing motor that will be bigger than that 2407, but smaller than this uh, 2814. But anyway, yeah, so I'm going to be testing these out on with various batteries as well. I'm going to try and run it on low voltage with a huge battery and just see what, like what I can do for a... Uh, for flight times with a slow flyer and uh, with this thing right here and then uh, the XL10 I'll be running it uh, on 6S with um, I'll be running two 6S 1250s to make a 6S 2500 so um, that'll be more just for freestyle and ripping but uh, yeah so this is the DC10 that was the XL8. These are the Zing 2814. And 
um, yeah, there's there's more macro quad gear coming from iFlight very soon here. Um, I've talked to them about a uh, nine slash ten inch race frame as well, and I, I honestly think that their Vertigo VX5 would make a great ten inch race frame with this eight millimeter carbon. Um, on you know used to make vertical arms. I think that'd be really sweet. So hopefully we'll see that sometime in the future. And oh yeah, I forgot to mention this nice little um, 3D printed mount here for your uh, Crossfire or R9 antenna. And it has a um, you know little uh, spot to put your receiver right in there. Very nice little receiver mount. So yeah, it's a really sweet frame, and I think with the 8mm arms, you can get it in 6 or 8. The 6mm would be fine if you were doing like a like a lightweight build, maybe with smaller motors than this, and, and trying to just keep it as light as possible. Um, but honestly, these 8mm arms, if, this, like, if you have any concern of vibes or anything, I would just go with the 8mm arms and not even mess around. And I think this thing retails for $106 with the 8mm arms. And so yeah, not, not a bad price for a frame of that size. And I expect the XL10 to be a uh, very similar price range. Yeah, this thing should be bomb-proof, really. That's a lot of carbon right there. Yeah, so uh, if you are interested in macro quads, if you're on Facebook, go join the macro quad 8, 9, 10 inch quad group. Um, there's all kinds of cool stuff over there. People are doing some really, really neat builds uh, in the macro class. And yeah, join the iFlight, Team iFlight uh, group on Facebook to keep uh, up to date on what they're working on. They've got a lot of cool stuff coming up um, this summer, and I guess they have some things I can't even talk about right now, but very exciting stuff coming from iFlight in the near future, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and we will catch you next time. Peace.